first of all, I wanted to thank you guys for the opportunity to come in and, and talk. I wanted to introduce who we have over here, and I'll talk a little bit about myself. This is uh, Mike. Uh, Mike actually is the head marketing person for Real Estate Sign Tracker, the one business you'll see on here. He has some other giveaways in the back there. I'll talk about that. Well, this is Mike. This is Dominic. Dominic really works uh, primarily in the home inspection side for us at Top to Bottom Services. Uh, and I actually represent all three of them that I'm going to talk a little bit about. Before I get started, I just want to let you know that um, I, do, I got diagnosed uh, years ago with tremors. So you'll see I'm talking with my hands like this because it's a little less distracting than trying to listen to me and I'm doing one of these things like slapping myself. So, um, and also I wear hearing aids. So if you ask a question or something like that and I don't respond, it's either one of two things. One, you ask a question that I just didn't hear you, or honestly it was a little too difficult and I'm buying some serious time trying to give you a good answer, okay? So, yeah, exactly. So, um, no, we're short on time, but just with a little bit about who I am so you know why I should stand up here. I didn't just sleep at the Holiday Express. I actually do have some experience. Um, I'm a graduate of the University of Maryland. My youngest son's going there now. Go Terps. So uh, all about that. My other son was going to Salisbury. I was talking about, they've got a seagull. I'm not really sure what that's all about. You know, I'm like, that's not really tough. Um, I was also, before I started these businesses, I was uh, a vice president of a Fortune 500 company called Fiserv Securities, which is a clearing firm for the stock market. Had nothing to do whatsoever with any of the businesses I ultimately started other than the fact that it allowed me to create systems. I knew exactly how to build systems. So if you're looking for great stocks, this is a great stock. It trades about $79 a share, and it's split like four times in the last three decades. It's a really good stock. Um, I'm also a uh, prior business mentor for the University of Maryland uh, graduate program. So what they used to do is align me up with people that are getting their business uh, masters, and I would uh, mentor them. Okay? I'm also a business coach for the Mastermind Inspector community where I train right now currently 18 companies around the United States uh, and one in Canada on how to grow their businesses and I do everything from real estate to inspections to plumbing to the whole nine yards. Business to me is business. It's people, products, services, and solutions, right? So I own three companies. I actually own six total, but these are the ones that are really representative to this particular meeting today. One is, I'm going to talk about top to bottom services, which is the inspection company. One is Green Home Solutions. That's the only thing I bought that was a franchise. And man, would I do it over again if I could. Franchises are not quick and nimble like I like to be. Um, so it's a little bit of a challenge. So, uh, and then also, uh, I own Real Estate Sign Tracker, which is a company that installs signs and places them around the, uh, all the place. We do about 1,000 placements uh, a month. So, I put this photo in here just to make sure you realize that it's not photoshopped. I really do coach, and I do go all over the place. This one right here was in Houston um, when I was uh, helping some inspectors in Houston. So, a little bit about top to bottom services. Um, we have a 200% guarantee. By the way, I look kind of old in there. I think I look a little younger now, I think, after that picture. I've got to redo that picture. Um, so, 200% guarantee. I don't understand it, Dan. What's that all about? Well, you recommend us for a home inspection. We're blessed, and we go and we do it. After the home inspection, your buyer calls her mother, and her mother says, well, did they do this? And all of a sudden, questions start to arise. And you start getting that, uh-oh, you get like sucking on a penny feeling, like when a cop's pulling you over. You're like, uh-oh, not good, right? So, if they want to, and they think that we missed something significant, they can actually hire another inspection company to go in and do an inspection on where we've already been, and if they find something significant that we missed, I will refund all the money they paid, and I will pay for the other inspection up to the fee that they paid us. So if they got an inspection for 500 bucks from me, I'll refund it. They put 500 for another one, I'll pay it. There is absolutely no risk. We carry $1 million in referral insurance for all your agents. So in the case the wheel starts coming off the bus, they're going to go after the lender, they're going to go after the home inspector, the realtor, everybody involved. Well, we're going to kick in $1 million through State Farm uh, referral insurance, agent referrals, specifically for real estate agents. Free concierge service that makes it look like it's coming from you. It's a service we provide and put on every one of our inspections that when they move in, they say, hey, did an inspection the other day for Jane Doe Realtor, uh, and uh, we're just calling to find out you need to know where the local pizza place is, or do you want to get a handyman service, or do you want to do whatever? It's free for as long as they live there, and it looks like you guys provided it, but we actually paid for it. Free lifetime consultations with any of our, one of our inspectors. This is the only one that my inspector said, can you change this? Because <laughs> we, we get calls six years later, hey, I'm about to put a water heater in, and the plumber said this. Is that accurate? Once they use this, 
Everything is free. All consultations are free. We have a 90-day top-to-bottom funded. This is not a warranty. You have to be a warranty company in the state of Maryland, in the district, in Virginia to be a warranty. Meaning, we do a guarantee that we, yeah, everyone knows HMS and some of all these other ones. Well, I know Dave very well. We used to have a power lunch. And I took his warranty from HMS, stripped out what I wanted, put it together, and funded it myself. So what we do is if your client moves in and the dishwasher doesn't work, and we said it worked, mm -hmm. that would be a warranty. I'm warranting what I found to, 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 to do it, right? That's also a guarantee. But what happens if it, if it stops working a week down the road? That would be the warranty that HMS would do. I just guarantee that it was doing what it did when I moved in. They come in, you said you missed a leaking, uh, leaking uh, roof. All right, well, I'll pay for it because clearly we missed it. It was leaking at the time of the home inspection. Make sense? So we have a free $200, man, uh, $200 handyman's. We put this on both sides, the bell, buy side and sell side. So when we go to a listing, we'll leave some paperwork behind and say, Thanks for a lot for allowing us to come in and do an inspection of your property. Here's $200 worth of handyman coupons if you choose to fix anything. Then we also go to our client on the buy side and say, hey, thanks a lot for using us for a home inspection. Here's $200 of coupons that you can use uh, when you're buying a, uh, buying a house. Maybe hang your TV, shelves, whatever. We have multi uh, lingual. We have Spanish speaking, French, and we do know a little bit of English. Just a, just a little bit. A little DC is a little rough. So um, we do have that, those three. We also have male and female inspectors. Uh, I would encourage you when you call in just to tell us what your client's like and we'll try to align the best inspector. I have one inspector like Matthew, for example, if you want to know what time it was, he'll tell you how the watch was made. I, I don't really care, just tell me it's, it's 11 o'clock, right? Well, he's more of an engineer type, so if you have that engineer type, you want to align them. If you want somebody more casual, that might be Jim Perlot. You know, Jim's worked for me for about 22 years. We do residential and commercial, and we have nine inspectors right now and three in training. Um, we do everything and everything you could possibly do other than septic. I subbed that all out right to down the road over here to Fredericktown Labs. I think that they do a better job and I, I can't beat their price, so I just send everything over their way and there's no kickback or anything like that. Go ahead and hit it. So a little bit about our staff, about us. We've done well over 25,000 inspections. Uh, we've been hired as professional witnesses. Typically, uh, we do about uh, one or two um, court cases, probably a quarter. And they're normally from tenants that are hiring us to come in and they're going after their landlord for some deficiency within the property, but we've done court cases. We've taught numerous, numerous uh, realtor classes like we had talked about. I've been actually uh, uh, asked to assist other realtors to review other inspectors' reports to kind of get the jargon out and try to help them understand what they're actually asking for. How many times have you looked at a report and you're like, I don't even know what they're talking about? So we can actually help you go through all that. Uh, we've been featured on the radio, webinars, best practices, standard operating procedures, and I've been a guest speaker at many conferences and things like that on the industry. So that's top to bottom. Uh, Green Home Solutions um, is a, a mold cleaning company. This is one of the most brilliant women. I'm sure there's lots of talented women in this room right now, uh, but this woman right here, I recruited to move her down from Connecticut to run this Green Home uh, company. She carries two masters and puts herself through school. She's amazing. She also was running a multi-inspector firm, 10 inspectors in Connecticut. That's how I found her and brought her down here. She does amazing stuff. Uh, she also does CE classes and has over six years experience doing that, that training. Go for it. So a little bit about mold. Woo! The four letter word, right? Used to be uh, the one that no one really wanted to talk about was radon. Don't bring up radon, don't test it. Well, what happened with the market? Everyone started doing remediation, the prices went down, radon's no big deal now. Matter of fact, in Montgomery County, it's just like, do it, right? Well, mold's getting the same way. There's better mouth traps now. Most used to be snatch and grab. Go in there, cut the mold out. I see it, cut it out, get rid of it. All that was based on the, the lead and asbestos remediation from the EPA. There is no protocol right now, people, about mold remediation. Nothing. It's a non-licensed industry. But everyone still thinks they got to do the lead one because the EPA says, I'm not touching with that 10-foot pole. So you got to go through these protocols. You don't need to do that anymore. There's products now out there that we have that's an enzyme-based product that actually goes through porous material. So if there's mold on the wall, you don't have to gut the thing, it goes right through it. It's pretty amazing stuff. We do free estimates, product penetrates through uh, porous material, next day business results. If we do a test on a Monday, you're going to know what you got on Tuesday. You know, we do so much testing with them, they give us uh, exponential service. Our pricing is about a third to a tenth of what you actually pay for traditional. Why is that? 
well, because traditional is a lot of labor. You got to cut everything out. You got to remove all the insula insulation. You got to do all that kind of stuff and then rebuild it. Typically five to seven days from mold discovery to you guys going to supper. That's pretty fast. Typically, you would call somebody like a surf pro and say, hey, by the way, I have a friend at the surf pro. They're great, but th their solution works better than ours in some cases. If they're saving water, we're not touching that. But I can tell you, most of the ones that you guys are dealing with is you see something behind a water heater, that's right in our wheelhouse. Something in the garage, crawl space, that's in our wheelhouse. So if, we, if you call us and say, I got mold, typically five to seven days, you got a clearance test saying you got no mold, go to settlement. We also, if there's a delayed settlement, we'll give you letterhead that transfers our warranty and our guarantees to your buyer. So they don't have to worry about anything. They go to, you go to settlement anyway and they move in later due to test, we got you covered. Affordable, fast, effective uh, mold and odor. Works great for smoke, works great for curry, fish, all that kind of curry. Come on, let's be real. There's a, there's a market space there, right? Um, great for HVAC systems, bad basements, crawl spaces, the whole gamut. We have a great uh, uh, class on mold, like how to, how to deal with it, what actually it is. So this is our sign company. This is uh, Kieran Mehta, um, great guy, uh, owned a hotel, three manufacturing plants, was retired, looking for something to do. Came, knocked on my door, just said, hey, uh, I live in Potomac, you're close to my house, I saw an ad, what can I do for you? I'm like, All right, this is manna from heaven, right? So I got a, a gentleman who has massive amount of experience running my sign installation business. We do about, like I said, 800 to 1,000 sign placements in a particular month. Um, all of our stuff is real-time installation notifications with photo. So you get your, I'm going to go a little quicker, I got this, I got this. <laughs> so if you want some signs, we can certainly do that. Uh, free storage, no limited. Um, GPS lookup, so you're at the site looking to do your listing. Uh, you got a plan on Friday for a listing appointment. You could go two weeks prior, put the install in. We call this utility, we do everything. You go there, you get the listing, boom, we get the post there the next day based on what you put. You go there, you don't get the listing. You just cancel the order. It doesn't cost you anything. So you look like you're on it like this. All right? Um, and a whole bunch of other great stuff. I think that's our last one. Oh, this is our the mobile app, so you can just get on. Again, it does GPS lookup. You're at a house, you start typing into the address. It knows where you are. Put it in there. You're good to go. Next one. These are the three companies. Boom. If I had a mic, I would drop it. I'm finished. There you go. I don't know if I can do it any faster. That was literally like 12 minutes. That so, was um, actually 12 so. minutes and 44 seconds. Yeah, so I'm short at two and a half minutes, people. Uh, uh, do I have to check in for like, any, any quick questions about why we're so amazing or anything like that? And we got tons of free stuff over here, too. I know you guys all like that tchotchke stuff. We got mail files, all that cool stuff. Thanks a lot. God bless. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity. Let's thank, thank them you. for providing yep. lunch for us. And I'll stay around for questions. I'll stay around and answer questions after. Can I get a high five? Because I, I feed off your guys' energy. All right? There you go. Trust me. Stand it up there. Talk to you guys. I'm going to try to do this in eight minutes. I don't know. I'm going to make it Uh, yeah, I was just not going to disturb anybody else when we get it later, but yeah, that's it. You didn't even use my clicker. It didn't work? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it was a bad Yeah, it's improvised. Cool. Hey, does everybody know Neil Feinberg from Bright MLS? Good morning. This is Neil. Thanks for coming, Neil. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Okay, first of all, no questions. <laughs> Thought I'd try that. <laughs> this is my card, has my cell phone number on it. Please take it. Call me anytime, day or day. Thank you. All right. And if you sit over there, you're not on camera to see. You. That's that's fine with me. That's good. It's <laughs> good for anybody watching that I'm not on the camera. That's good. All righty, so, you all guys been having fun with the system? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, that was very underwhelming. I appreciate that very much. All right, so let's just start off right at the top here. I don't know how much time we have, but we're going we're gonna to race right through this. But we'll take our time so you get all the right information, right? So the first thing I want to point out to you is when you come in, if you haven't done this, a couple things you need to take care of. If you click on your name in the upper right-hand corner, and then you click on Account and Settings, that takes you to the account management page. 
So here you can uh, change your contact information. You can pull your statement of account now. This is something you want to give to your tax preparer, right, for your uh, tax returns. It shows you all the dues that you've paid over the year. Pay your balance manually. Set up auto pays. So if you want while you're sleeping, we can take your quarterly fee right out. You won't even notice it's gone. The one you really need to get to is this one here called MLS settings. Okay. The first link up here is my information. This is like a one-stop shop for all the places in the system that require your agent information. So for example, you guys use the headers. Some people call them the banners, these. So you definitely want to set this up if you don't have this set up. Okay, it appears when your client opens the portal. You can also print it on reports you prepare for your customers. Um, not only to look professional, but it has all your information on there. That's the important part to get that out to your customer. And you can also set up your CMA cover sheet and your email signature and your portal profile. So you definitely want to uh, take care of that. Uh, let me just back up here the slow way. Then you want to come all the way down to the bottom, and this is crucial. This is called portal notification settings. This is how you're going to tell the system how you want to be notified when your customer takes action on the portal, when you send them listings. So if we click on here, these are all the things you can be notified on. Visits the portal, saves or removes a favorite, saves or removes a possibility, discards or undiscards a listing, adds notes, saves search, visits the portal for the first time. So you can set yourself up ASAP email, ASAP text, or, and if you want, you could have all three of them if you wanted, a daily summary. Okay. Personally, I wouldn't use the daily summary. You send your customer listings, they open it up at 9 o'clock in the morning, they slap a heart on that listing because they love it. You don't know that till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You could probably already have it showing scheduled. Okay. So you can have that if you want. If you're going to use text, you come down here, you put in your mobile number, your cell provider, then the system is going to shoot you a little four-digit code via text. You slap that in you're all set up. So make sure you set this up the way you want to for the way you run your business so that you are notified um, when your customer takes actions. That's really important. Cool? Good, thank you. All right. Next, up here on support, if you click on conversion information, this page was originally put up for the conversion, there's all kinds of information. So I want to show you where you can get answers to your questions uh, outside of the help desk. Although the help desk, I don't know if I've called them lately, but it's vast, you're no longer number 93 in line. Wait till a week for Thursday. Uh, we just put 20 techs on the, on the desks. We've got another training class running, so we're gearing up there. But if you had a quick question, click on support. Click on online support center. You can either search for what you're looking for or find the subject matter here. You will get documentation. Okay, very easy. If you want more extensive information, Click right here on other resources and videos. These are all recorded webinars. And by the way, if you don't have the quick start guide, you can download it here. They were given out during the conversion. This is uh, on searching and adding listings. And then down here, separated into more uh, specific subjects. So if you were trying to figure out how to do a CMA, you can click right on here. We have a big tall cup of coffee because this is a 50 minute recorded webinar. And then underneath here, you'll see other shorter videos plus articles. So there's lots of information here. You also know, as I mentioned, we have the help desk. And of course, you can always call me. Don't call me at 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay. So that's good. We'll get rid of that. All right. So this here is, well, let's go here. This here is the main navigation menu, right? So here's search. Big difference between this system and the old system, there's no more for sale yes, no button because we've separated into two separate searches, for sale or for lease. If you wanted to search both or any combination of uh, property types at the same time, come down to the very bottom, click on multiple property types, and down here you can select the ones you want. So you can do it either way. Okay. Um, so we have multifamily, land, farm, commercial sale, commercial lease. Business opportunity is a new one. Business opportunity is defined as a business for sale. There is no transfer of real estate, but there is a lease. That's what we call a business opportunity. 
If you want to search by an MLS number, here's one place to do it. Slap it right in, you're good to go. These are here are create your own. There's one for each property type. So what they are is pretty much blank searches. You would have to come in here and add all the search fields that you want to use. Just in case some agents say, I only use six or seven fields, there's 30 of them on the page, I just want all of them here. It's not as nicely formatted, they just stack. Okay? So you have that if you want. I have a question. Sure. Is this where we set our defaults for our searches? Uh, no, but I will show you that. Okay. Definitely the defaults. Um, over here, different types of searching. Your public on broker tours. Public record search, which you used to know as the tax tab. Your safe searches and the directory. So you can look up other agents or offices. Down here, HomeSnap. We all using HomeSnap. That is our mobile app. Please download that. Tremendous app. Has a lot of good features to it. Foreclosures, this takes you to Realty Trap, which is a nationwide foreclosure program. So if you're looking for investment properties like that, you can search by foreclosure, pre-foreclosure, and auctions. If I was looking for um, uh, properties like that, I would run a search through Realty Trap. I would also run a search through our system, Select Foreclosure. That's how I would do it. New Home Source Pro, that is a website dedicated just to new construction. So if that's what your customer is looking for, a great resource right there. So that is the search tab. Under Clients, under Email, we have Concierge. Do you know what Concierge is? Have you guys heard about this? Concierge is part of the auto email system. And what it does is instead of sending the listings directly to your customer, it sends them to you first, lets you look at them, and then decide which ones you want to send out to your customer. Okay, it's called concierge. There's a button now when you set up your auto email, enable concierge mode. And then you have your contacts, your auto email, your sent email and rate plug. This is the dashboard. It looks like a lot of things on here, but it's just one link. Okay, and this kind of looks like the matrix homepage you guys used to have, right? So here are your carts, your portal notifications, uh, your listings, your concierge alerts. If that's my wife, please tell her I'm nowhere near a Costco. Thank you. Um, so here's a concierge alert. When listings come in through concierge, you get an auto, uh, auto notification through your email. You'll also see it down here. Listings need your approval. You'll also see it up top here in this orange bar on every page. So if I had listings that came in, I click on this, select the customer I want to look at. Now I can just come down here and click Approve All 18, or I can select the ones I want, Approve Selected, or if I'm not going to have any use for them, I can put them into the reject pile. Okay, so that's what we call concierge. Now this up here is new, this is called the Hot Sheet and the Market Watch. And these are two sets of specialized, save, uh, specialized searches that we think of for you guys to keep track of your areas. Okay? Um, the hot sheets, you'll see there's one here for each of the property types, but you could actually remove all these if you wanted, and you could have nine of these all residential searches. So you, don't, you can mix them up. You'll have nine different searches you can run. And they run manually. So if I want to set this up, I click on Customize. In the lower left hand corner, let's say I'm going to do a residential, I can go in here and change the name so I know what that search entails. Then I just click on edit criteria, put in all the criteria I want for that search, and click on save. So then when I come in here, I can say, well, let's see what's happened in the last three days. There's your answers. New listings, price increase, price decrease, back on the market, and status changes. Okay. So there's one for each. Uh, there's nine different ones here that you can have. Mix and match your property types, doesn't matter. Market Watch is a little bit different in that you only... Yes? I have a question. Sure. I'm sorry. So on the hot sheet, uh -huh. um, what are those options underneath residential? Oh, yeah, it's just all the okay. different property types. Okay, so when would you want to use that? If, what, if what kind of a scenario 
these are just like I'm going to set up a four bedroom search. There's a subdivision I want to keep track on. Okay. There's a zip code I want to keep track on. You may want to keep track of the whole county. Okay. These are just searches for you to easily access. <coughs> and then once you save that, mm -hmm. where does it go? It to sits right here until you run it. It sits back, it back, it goes back into the hot sheet. It, yep, it's sitting right in your hot sheet. Okay. You just click on it, it runs it for you. Okay. And you can set the dates. If the, you want to keep a, your eye on one house, is this where you would do it? Mm, I guess you could. I've never thought of that, but there's a better way to do there's that. There's a better way for that. Better way to do that. Remind me, watch listings. How is that different than like a saved search? It's is not. It it's just, yeah, it's just, a, and, and I'll show you, it's also accessible from the home page. So when you log in, you have them right there. The market watch, you only have one. So I use that for the one area you really want to keep track of. Works the same way. I'm going to do a residential. I'll click on customize, put in all my criteria, and then every time I come in, the metrics are already sitting here. You don't have to run it. I can change the date, what happened in the last three days, what's been back on the market, you have it right here. Okay? If you go to the home page when you log in, you will see here are your hot sheets sitting right here, and your market watch is in the lower right hand corner. So you can just come in in the morning, come right here. What's, what's been happening today, if you have the how you set, click right into them, and you have them. Okay. Pretty cool. So use those for the areas you really want to keep track of. That's the purpose of it. And you'll have the answers instantaneously. All right. I think we covered that, right? Yep. We got all that good. All right. This over here is my showings, your CMAs. Whenever you see this blue box with a P in it, it stands for premium products. What it really means is pay us more money. These are outside your core subscription. This is another CMA program that we offer. Under my listings, Add and edit listings, view your listings. This is where you have the hit counters, which show you who's been viewing, uh, how many people have been viewing your listings. These are the profile sheets, some more commercials for Sphere. That's our new website offering and Social Pro, um, which they're doing presentations on. That is a system that manages your social media for you. Under finance, your buyer closing and net seller sheets, your county tax rates, amortization schedule, financial calculators. Under market research, these are some stat reports that you can run. A brokerage you won't have, so don't worry about that. You have to be a broker. And of course, I know you've all been dying to read the new rules and regs, so I just <laughs> want to point it out where they are. There's only one time that anybody goes to the rules and regs. What's that? When they get a compliance notice. I've either been a customer or an employee of this company for going on, I guess, 17 years now. I've never read the rules and regs. Only when someone has a question, I don't know the answer, to it, which happens rarely. But don't believe that. All right, let's get right into it. So let's go to search, and let's go to residential sale. By the way, see this bar right here? Search by MLS number. If you want multiples, just separate them by a comma. It's on every page within Matrix here. Okay. Do you all use the radius search on the map? Yeah. Right? So you go in there, let's say you want to set it out two miles, and you're moving your mouse. Now you're at 2.3, so you move your mouse a little bit to the left. Now you're at 1.7. Sometimes it's hard to get to the exact mileage you want. So if you prefer, you can put your distance right in here, put in a location, a landmark, or an address. It will plot the radius for you. Okay, good. Well, finally, it took 20 minutes. All right. <laughs> Next. It's only because Paige and I are personal friends. She's like my shit. So anything she says nice about me, don't believe it. Okay. So this is really important. From now on, make it a point to always select the county. Okay? It really affects the improvement and the performance of the system. Now, somebody mentioned before defaults. You can set up defaults for any field on this page. So if I know that 90% of the time I'm doing my work in Frederick, I select Frederick, I come up here under the results tab here, see that little gear? If you click on that, set currently selected search criteria as my starting default. So every time I come into residential sale, Frederick is already selected. But only do it for the ones that stay the same. If you're coming in every time and removing ones, you've kind of defeated the whole purpose of having a default, right? Does that make sense? 
Cool. All right. Let's talk about subdivisions. Because subdivisions have been a little hinky, haven't they? So here's the background on it. The subdivisions, all the advertised subdivisions came into the system the way all the agents in the MRIS footprint typed them in to their listings. So that's why you see them. Two, two word subdivisions as one, one as two. You see them spelled wrong. You'll see the name of the subdivision that somebody wrote great by at the end of it, right? So there's a lot of different versions of them on our system. We are in the process now of getting rid of all the superfluous stuff. Okay? But until we complete that, I want to show you how you can still search by subdivision. That's kind of important, right? So, do you all remember the wild cards from the old matrix system, right? The asterisk key? Okay, so we're going to use that too. So, I do it this way. I always put an asterisk in the beginning. That tells the system, if anybody typed in a letter before my first letter, show it to me. Okay? So, especially if you have a subdivision that starts with the word the, the villages of Urbana, one agent would type in villages of Urbana, another agent would type in the villages of Urbana, so you put that asterisk in front to capture both of them. Okay, so let's look at, we're going to do Ballinger Creek, right, a Ballinger Run. Okay, now, in the, I do this automatically. Here's another example. There's a, a um, subdivision called Twinbrook. It is a one-word subdivision. Lots of agents put it in as two. So you would split it. I would go twin asterisk brook. That tells the system that no matter if they did it in one word or two, you still want to see it. In this case, just to be, whenever I have a two-worder, I always stick one in between just to be safe in case somebody just typed it out all as one. So I'll go. Now if I just went Ballinger asterisk, it would give me all the subdivisions that start with Ballinger. So you get Ballinger Run, you get Ballinger Creek, anything else. Okay. So I'll go Ballinger Run, and then you always, always, always put one at the end. So just remember, one in the front, one in the end. Because if they typed anything in after your last letter, and you don't put in that asterisk, it will not pull that. Okay. So that's the first way you can do it. The second way you can do it, is you can use this search field right here. Click this box here, and then type in what you're looking for. Right? So if I was looking, let's say, Ballinger Run, I think only has a couple, but if I was in Ballinger Creek, now I could come in here and I could select all the different iterations of this, and I'd have them all at one time. Okay? That's the second way you can do it. That's to cover all the different ways they may have put in. The third way you can do it is use the map to select your area or search by zip code and then add subdivision to your results screen, which I'll show you how to do, and then sort by subdivision. Make sense? So you can use the asterisk, you can use the lookup or search by zip code or map and then sort by subdivision. Is that cool? All right. All right, so let's pick on somebody. Paige, what do you think uh, goes in the city field? <laughs> what do you think goes in the city field? Uh, I'll give you a hint. The city. The city. You ah. got it. All right. <laughs> Very strong. And of course, if your customer said, I want to live in Frederick County, but I don't want to live in, Fred in the city of Frederick, you select Frederick, you select not. Okay? That eliminates it. 